What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to be going through all of the parts that we got with the EF. I did try to add it in the uh, car reveal video, but it was just too much parts and I don't think you guys want to watch a hour long episode on uh, these kind of things. So I decided to make a uh, episode on its own just for the parts that we got with the EF. So there's two stages of parts. <laughs> I told you guys there's a bunch. So we got two stages. So let's start off with the first stage. So here we go. Take a look at this, guys. This is the first stage of the parts that we received with the EF. So I'm going to start off over here. We have two privacy covers, one for speakers, one without. We have a full dash to go along with it. We also have a Integra uh, center console, which I think I will be installing because it has the armrest. And as you guys know, the EF right now doesn't. And I really like this. It is very, very clean, mint, no cracks, no rips. It just needs a little bit of cleaning and it's good to go. So we're going to be using this in the EF. There is a spare uh, P28 computer. We also got um, Sparco rails for the seats. Uh, so the previous owner uh, wanted to put some Recaro seats in there. So these are made for Recaros. Uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, what other seats they fit. I got to do some research, but I think these are, ah, they might be universal, but he did tell me that these are for Recaro. So they might be specific. I got to message him and find out, but we got rails, Sparco, brand new, still in its packaging. And then what else? We got a bunch of spare tail lights. We also have a transmission. So this is the cable transmission. So as you guys know, the uh, EF is uh, converted into a hydro transmission. So he did give me the spare transmission with the cable line. So if ever we want to go back to cable, we have it. So it's right there. And let's just go down the line here. Spare steering wheel. We have a Momo Fast and Furious steering wheel, which I think it fits the body kit, which is on it right now. So we have that. We also have uh, signal markers, uh, OEM headlights. We have some calipers over there, drive shaft. We have a couple of uh, aftermarket mounts. What do I see there? A fuel rail with a vacuum gauge. So this is what I'm actually pretty excited about is that we can get this um, aftermarket front and rear bumper off. And I think that a lot of you guys want to see this thing pretty OEM as it can get. That's exactly the look I wanted to give it. And this was pretty much the vision of the previous owner. And this is why he gave me all of these spare parts so we can actually finish off his vision. And I think it is perfect. And that's the vision I have for this car. But nonetheless, we are going to be using a OEM rear bumper. And here we have a brand new front bumper OEM brand new perfect we also have the lip that comes with it we have the rear lip that comes with it there is also a um, steel front lip what else do we got we got some oem honda mud flaps all four Whew. we got some door panels i told you guys it was a bunch of crap and this isn't really even the half of it what else do we got over here what else do we got? We have these uh, spare wheels that he also gave us. Look at the tire thread, look at that. Brand new guys, brand new. I think these look really, really good. They give it that um, old school OEM Honda look. As you can see, a little bit of the clear coat is peeling, but that's fine, we can get that all off and refinish these in any color, maybe white, maybe black. 
we'll see. And also we have this uh, glossy black mesh, which is a replacement for this uh, Fast and Furious old school mesh uh, right here. So the previous owner, he wasn't sure if he wants to run this bumper and the rear one. So he did decide just to purchase some of this uh, nicer uh, mesh. So we might run this for now. We'll see. In case we do, the first thing that we will be doing is removing this ugly mesh and replacing it with the black one. We're not exactly sure yet if we're going to be going into installing the rear bumper with the front bumper but we have options guys we have a couple of options and then over here guys i am super excited about this check this out brand new type r red carpet for the whole interior this is super exciting when i seen this i was blown away this is gonna be so nice in the ef it's gonna make it pop it's gonna be beautiful none of that ugly uh gray carpet we have a brand new type r red carpet guys Alright, so let's start off with the Skunk 2 camber arms with the ball joints. Super amazing. Like I said, everything is brand new on the table here. I cannot wait to install this. They look amazing and I love that it comes with the ball joint as well. Over here behind it, we have a K-Tune V2 shifter. This thing is going to look amazing as well. I cannot wait to install this as well. Very, very nice piece. We have some uh, OEM uh, signals. We have OEM bumper reflectors. These go in the bumper. What else do we got? We have OEM headlights, guys. This is amazing. Brand new inbox. Look at that. Amazing. Everything is brand new, basically. We have some rack bushings that he didn't install, but we have them just in case. We have a nice little suede uh, red stitching shifter boot, which we're going to be installing with the uh, K-Tune V2 shifter. We also have a brand new Honda boost controller solenoid. So right now we are running at about eight pounds, which is... Uh, the uh, wastegate spring, eight pounds. So we gotta install this, and then let's see if we can maybe run about 10 to 11 pounds of boost. We'll see, I'm not exactly sure, but with this, we can run a little bit more boost and get some uh, more juice out of this thing. We also have a nice little toe strap, nice red, which I love. We have some uh, OEM Honda badges, the red one, the original one. We have some uh, hood spacers as well. And this is a rear brace for the EF guys, Megan Racing. It matches the ones that we have on right now. So we're going to be installing this as well. We also have these uh, Hasport mounts. The transmission mount is already in there. We just got to get these in as well. We also have some hood dampers, which is amazing. We're going to be installing this as well. And last but not least, guys, the most amazing thing on this table, in my opinion, is this cluster right here guys check this out this is a brand new and this is nine and a half thousand rpm with the orange needles amazing this thing is pretty much the most exciting piece on this table and i'm super excited 
to start working on this thing and get all of these parts installed on the EF. I cannot wait to get this red carpet in here. It's gonna transform the whole car. It's gonna look amazing. So I think the next video we're gonna be doing some work on the EF. We're gonna be removing all of the uh, console stuff. We're gonna be removing the seats and we're gonna get this carpet out and then install the red one. So right now it's sitting in the box. What I have to do is uh, pretty much lay it out somewhere in my house, keep it there for maybe two, three days so it can kind of uh, find its own natural shape and then we can go and install it in here so once we get this whole carpet out and all of this stuff here the console and stuff we're gonna be installing that GSR console with the armrest that's gonna look amazing and I think at the same time we're gonna install that uh, shift boot that nice uh, red stitching one with the k -Tune shifter I cannot wait to start working on this car and start enjoying it this is gonna be a perfect clean street build guys I cannot wait I'm super excited also, what I was thinking is maybe we can uh, install these 8th uh, gen SI seats in the EF and it would really, really be nice because they are pretty comfortable for what they are and because we're building a street car, we're not really worried too much about weight and the EF is pretty much light as hell. So we can uh, maybe put these seats in. I have to see if uh, we can actually remove the rails or maybe they, they can actually bolt up. I'm not exactly sure. But once we get the carpet in and all that stuff and then we're about to put the stock seats in, I want to try to get these seats in. Um, I do have a uh, carpet like a cleaner, like a machine. So I might clean these off, make them look a little bit nicer because as you guys can tell, it's a little bit dirty. So we're going to clean them up, put the carpet in and then we're going to try to uh, slap these things in and see if we can actually put it with the stock rails. If not... I gotta do some research and see if those Sparco uh, rails can actually go bolt up on this seat and then we can put it in. But I think that that will look really, really nice with the SI seats in there. Man, this OEM front bumper is gonna look amazing, especially with the front reflectors and with the lip and everything. It's gonna transform this car and make this thing look really, really good and authentic. There was one more thing that I almost forgot to show you guys, which is really, really important. Uh, the previous owner, he didn't really have to give me this. He could have kept it as a memory of the car and as something as a sentimental value. Um, the vision that he had for this car is amazing and it's pretty much the vision that I have for this car and that's why me and the previous owner were on the same page of this car. We're on the same page of what this car should look like in the end and this is what he gave me. Check this out guys. So this is pretty much the look that he wanted to go with and as you guys can see the rims match sort of but they do. He uh, kind of got the idea off of this and this is pretty much the vision that I have for this car right now. Um, as you can see this is uh, the OEM front bumper with everything and this is pretty much how I want this car to look as well. Like I said uh, this is his vision and he bought this little uh, Hot Wheels car before he started doing anything and this gave him inspiration on what this car should look like and then he started just uh, buying a bunch of parts and this is what he wanted the car to look like. And I think that we will be fulfilling uh, his vision because it is also mine and I think that it's going to look really, really good. So I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to hang it right here just to remind us that that's the vision that we are going for also i wanted to give a huge shout out to the previous owner thank you so much i highly appreciate this from the bottom of my heart i do understand that it is very very difficult to let go of something uh, as special as this he has been collecting all of these parts and he had this vision for a long time. It is not something that just happened out of the blue, uh, out of nowhere. This has been manifested in his mind for over five years. And as you guys can see, with all these parts that he's collected, he had a vision, a very, very big vision. And this is where um, he was really, really glad that uh, I was the one that picked it up because I also have a passion and our visions pretty much aligned and exactly how he wanted this card look like I want it to look like that so he was very very happy that I did take over and this is exactly why he gave me every single thing for this car this is why he gave me everything he could have easily 
just kept it and uh, pretty much sold it for a lot, a lot of money. He could have got a lot of money for this stuff, but because uh, we pretty much, uh, our minds aligned and we had the same vision for this car, he pretty much just gave me everything that he had for this car. So once again, I wanted to give a huge thank you to uh, the previous owner. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. All right, guys, so that'll pretty much do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As you guys can see, it is a lot of stuff, and I'm super happy that we have so much stuff already collected, and we are ready to make some content on the EF. We're gonna be starting with the carpet, the shifter, the console, get some seats in there. We have so much things that we can go and install in this garage, which I'm super grateful for, and I cannot wait, super excited. I hope you guys are too. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot more EF content. I also did want to mention quickly as well, uh, the 8th gen right now uh, came to a little bit of a stop because Rui did have to leave into the US. He, uh, Him and his race team are uh, at H day at the event and they're doing some testing. So he's out in the US. So he'll pretty much be back next week and then he'll get right back on the 8th gen and finally get this thing all knocked out so we can hit the streets with the 8th gen as well. That'll pretty much do it for today's video. Thank you all for for watching please be sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace out guys